Hey, man. Hey. I need some help. Yeah? I need your advice. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to... Yes, I'm looking at your website, and you have a picture showing of G.I. Joe 241 Altered Reality Variant Issue. I need help, please, on getting this book from my collection. I've contacted Altered Reality stores. This is a comic vine thing? This is a comic vine thing. Okay. They have no issues of it. And it's their store's books. There is spelled T-H-E-R-E. Their store's books. Which issue is it? 241 Altered Reality Variant Issue. I don't know that one. It goes on. This is a long email. I've contacted IDW Publishing directly, and they never received any of these books. I've also checked eBay and no issues are there. I have reached out and called Mile High Comics and they have no issues of the book. And lastly, I tried to find a phone number for the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con with no luck. This guy really wants this book. Why? It's a variant issue. He has a collection of G.I. Joe comic books, buddy. What does a variant issue mean? You have a variant cover. You never read comics at all? Mm, Dude. I bought it like the Simpsons comic and that was about it. So they, they've been doing this shit for a long time where they'll put out the same comic. The interior of the comic is the same, but there's like eight different variant covers. Mm -hmm. So they have different art on them. Sometimes they're just blank, like pure white. So you can take it from Comic-Con and get people to draw oh. you the picture. Um, and some of the variant stuff is really, really rare. And apparently this one's super rare. This dude's really looking for it. And back when I was reading comics in the 90s, like all the, uh, they started really going crazy with the image and DC and Marvel did. I think DC put out the death of Superman had like, entire swaths of, of secret covers and hidden covers and, and stuff you had to really track down if you're a collector. And it got so ridiculous that people kind of left the industry altogether rather than keep up with it. What, uh, like what was your favorite comic series in the 90s? That was a little earlier than, I think Warren Ellis was started stuff up in the 2000s. The 90s was a bad decade for comics. <laughs> 2000s was when a lot of like- Hey man, the Simpsons comic was all right. Yeah, it, it, 90s was really kind of the, the Jim Lee kind of uh, super muscles, the oh, Rob yeah. Liefeld Rob kind Liefeld. of, yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not the best. Uh, some of the image stuff is really good, uh, but I think the last like 10 years has been really good for, for comics, better than, better than the 90s for sure. What would you know? You weren't even born in the 90s. I was born in the You're 90s. Alive. I was born in the 80s. <laughs> what, 80? 89, October yeah. of 89. <laughs> I'm November of 79, so I'm a 70s child by the... I'm gonna keep on doing some support stuff here while yeah, you- Yeah, that's fine. I'm just checking out this game. Uh, right. It's called Kingdom Hearts. Um, you ever play Kingdom Hearts? I didn't. I played maybe half an hour. I think I rented it once and, and stopped. Um, here's a new one. To support at giantbomb.com. I'm not into commitment. I just want a hard fuck. Think you can give me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> my, well? my username is nasty usha 38 my profile is here are they a premium member uh i hope so <laughs> um the de the desk.com software will actually like strip out all the spam attachments but i still get the spam mm. which is kind of nice it makes you feel wanted. <laughs> like oh maybe i you know yeah maybe no I, strings I, attached hey, like this girl near me wants to do something bad I will say I always like the idea of having a key as a weapon. That seemed pretty cool. Yeah. Final Fantasy, Square has made some really cool weapons for their characters, like the Gunblade, FF8. Gunblade's classic. What'd you do to her? Uh, well, first of all, well. Oh, don't know what this guy's deal is, but I'm sure it's not good. This looks really good. Is this a Steam version of this? Uh, no, this is the remaster that PS4? they did a little bit ago. This looks really sharp. Uh, this disc actually has like six games on it. Can you name them all? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, Dream Drop Distance, uh, 237 over four hearts. Uh, you're joking, I, but I can't Dream tell Drop, if you're joking Dream Drop Distance isn't a joke. Yeah. And there is another one that's like a number over yeah, another number. I remember. I don't know what these little balls are. Uh, oh, they're money. Do you see the money counter? Cream, get the money. I think M-U-N-N-Y is the worst fake video game currency. I like Zenny a thousand times more than I like money. Ew. This kind of feels offensive, to be honest with you. So were you able to support that person? So? Uh, I think I'm gonna support it later on tonight. Okay. I get weird emails. Here's a good one too. 
Uh, I just found a bug in your web and it can it can cause harm your web user. So can we report here? Then will I get boundary reward in PayPal or Bitcoin for security bug? That's from Vpool. Independent security res researcher. <laughs> researcher is spelled R-E-S-E-R-C-H-E-R. -E -E <laughs> well, they're not a... I mean, they're not a writer. <laughs> it's obviously not a... <laughs> they're, they're a it's researcher. not an English major. I forgot I had a lock on. It makes things a lot easier. Where are the Disney characters? Uh, I'm gonna go meet up with them. I just... Oh. I started out on this island uh, with a bunch of other Final Fantasy kids. Wanted to fight and play Blitzball. But then a ghost showed up. Oh, look! There we go. Not voice, I take it? Uh, no. I wonder if my HP can, like, naturally regen or if I just have to use potions. We get a lot of people who email Comic Find thinking that or support at comicfine.com and giantbomb.com. We get a lot of people who think that they that we have made the games that they or emailing oh, about or the comics because yeah. our SEO game is so strong. Like if you if you look for this random mobile game uh, on Google, oh, you, how do you get to that? Obviously, a treasure chest. Maybe I need Goofy to give me a lift, a boost. Oh wait, I just say popcorn. I remember when I was uh, an intern, mm -hmm. I had to do my fair share of, we had that phone, the customer support like phone yeah. hotline, and I had to answer my fair share of phone calls, and there was a user who was a, an older gentleman who was very upset at us, and he needed us to log into his account to do something, I can't remember, mm -hmm. but he kept saying, my password is, I love Supergirl 69. <laughs> For Comic Vine? Yeah. Oh man, I don't think I could do a phone support line at this point. It was tough, especially because like I had been there for a month. There was a dude who emailed Comic Vine who got apparently banned. Uh, what? And he started emailing us and he said, "He's your mods are unfairly targeting me. Uh, this is bullshit, I won't stand for it. And I remember he, he signed off with, what about my right to free expression? And I looked up his notes, and he had been calling people the most vile names. Oh on, yeah, of course. Comic Vine, like homosexual slurs and pussies and all this other stuff. And apparently, he was very upset that he got banned for that. But I mean, what about his right to free expression? I know it's very true. First, First Amendment lawyers are going to be coming any day now. <laughs> the ACLU is coming after <laughs> Giant Bomb for banning hate speech. Oh, I get a pretty stone. You got a pretty stone too. Hey, Ben Ben. Been okay. Yeah, don't worry. It's been a weird week or so, but you know. Right. Let's see if I can uh, lighten, your, lighten your mood. Do you, uh. Oh no, juicy flavors are here. What's that for? New recipes with a fresh take on fruit. Huh. Okay. Goodness.com. Uh -oh. I'm getting Nestle USA spam now. You should, uh. Salsa in the summer. Hey! Is that still the fruit thing? Yes, it is. Like mango salsa? I think it's a Nestle like spam, uh, huge spam. But I think happens is some people get upset at the website for a, the mobile game they bought didn't work and they think we made it. So they- uh, I'll show them. They sign us up for a spam email like list. I've, I get a lot of that weird stuff. What's the like weirdest spam you've gotten? Definitely this dude who keeps on emailing us about Oh, it's not even spam. It's a, it's a. Let's see if we can find some. Hot tips. Do you like save any especially like bad and weird stuff? I clip some of the hot tips ones I get from this dude, and I've gotten maybe a hundred emails from him over the years. He keeps on sending them out, um, and I post some of them on my Twitter account. I don't want to say the guy's name because he, I have no idea, but holy shit. Generic compliments dot text. <laughs> I opened this text file. That was probably a bad idea. It's called generic compliments dot text. And it's just a series of compliments in quotation marks to quotation marks line delineated and I have no idea what they're referring to. They're just 
Hit me with a couple. I will, right now. The works are comprehensive and intelligent. Lucky for us, they represent an infinite leap forward. The stars are impressive. The whole work is realistic. This I don't is, know. This all has to do with King Hearts. I bet I think. it does. To be honest with you, it demonstrates a political imagination and an insider's sagacity equaled by no one else. Ooh, sagacity. That's a word that I definitely know what it means. They are indispensable entertainment fun richer than the legendary Aladdin's cave with all powerful magic and other treasures, and they deliver the goods. This really is about Kingdom Hearts, man. <laughs> the 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of the oh, world's no. destruction. Oh, no. Here's another movie tie-in. Those dogs... They lost all their puppies. Well-modeled. Oh, God. Don't step on them. I didn't mean to, but look at my fucking feet. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, it looks like we've got to find all 99 Dalmatians. Watch me in one big box. <laughs> How does this game work? Do you just, like, pick up missions from people? Is uh, this the is the first time I've kind of made it to this hub world. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm still... Oh, that's where I just came in. It is a brittle and heartwarming work with a shining light. I'm Man. trying to meet up with Doofy, Doofy and Donald. Fight. Oh. It's got kind of this like active combat, you know. Did you play any more of that uh, Final Fantasy X remake? Twelve? Twelve? I never played it. It was Brad's thing. I thought you. Oh yeah, no. I never bought right, it. Right. It was forty bucks, man. That's a lot. Fifty bucks, wasn't it? Fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a remake of a game I liked ten years ago. That's a bit rich. Um, I will wait to see if that comes to Steam. I think. Oh yeah, good call. You got that. Nino nice Kuni 2 is coming to Steam. I think oh, they, did they announce yeah, that? Yeah, I think they did. That's I'm really awesome. happy about that. I, I really like Nino Kuni. I know it wasn't everybody's ball of wax, and there was a lot of grinding involved, but um, I dug that game quite a bit, so I'm looking forward to playing that. I January 18th, 2018. All right, that's not that bad. It's a really good game design thing to make it so your enemies can just, like, slide away from you go flat and become yep. unhittable, but also like not do any damage, so they just kind of annoy you by being there. What do you spend money on? I haven't yet, uh, but I assume out. like better key blades. Mouse here from not using it. Better key blades. I just want to meet up with Goofy and Donald. I, uh, Tell you the truth, Matt Rory. Yeah. I loaded up a guide for Kingdom Hearts that mm -hmm. I was going to use as kind of a, like you know, if I can't naturally figure it out, mm -hmm. I don't want to be just kind of walking see, around in circles. I've heard there was some triggering um, <coughs> issues, especially in this area, like if you don't hit certain spots at, at certain distances. In the original game or the remaster, because uh, probably in all of well, oh, yeah. Okay. They, they, don't worry, it's a very faithful adaptation of the original. Um, Bug warts and all. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I read a little bit ahead of time what I was supposed to do, and I, it was like, go into the accessory shop, talk to the guy, leave, and you'll fight a boss fight. Mm -hmm. And I did that, but there was no boss fight. So, no, no. this is the second time I've seen this little symbol here. I streamed a little bit of, uh, I, wanna, I never did Bloodborne, but I did Dark Souls, and people would get so particular about the way you had to go through those games, they would be like, oh, you might as well fucking start over now if you didn't do this thing at the, the right time. Yeah. I think Bloodborne was the one that people will really get incensed if you don't do everything the right way in the right order. Um, I didn't even Odyssey. know like those games had an order. I just assumed the one path I was going on. There's like better endings, I guess, if you do the right thing, but um, obviously Kingdom Hearts very well known for, you have to have a meticulous walkthrough for it. Oh, it's Lady and the Tramp. Or, wait, yeah, is that? Lady and the Tramp, yeah. Live action remake coming in 2019. Is that true? Okay. <laughs> Made that up. Because <laughs> here's the thing, I believe anything about remakes at this Well, point. that fucking Beauty and the Beast movie made, what, like a $1.5 billion or is something that like that? true? Did you see that? I did not. My lady really wants to watch it. I'm, I will probably have to indulge her because I made her watch Alien Covenant, which was terrible. So I'm going to take one for the team and watch Beauty and the Beast. I had a friend tell me Alien Covenant is the second best Alien movie. I, is that person really your friend? It wasn't like 
unwashably bad. It was just dumb people doing dumb shit, despite the fact that they are going out to, to space and should be really smart. I really like Billy Crudup a lot, too. And he's really good in the movie, but... Yeah. Yeah. Say so he does something really stupid before he... Before the end of the movie, he does something really stupid. $1.25 billion for Beauty and the Beast. Jeez. That means Disney is going to remake every animated classic they have. Wait. Okay, let me go to this hotel. I'm going to... Okay. Is this so the funny I, part where they keep on walking in after you walk away? I see what they mean about, about triggering issues because I walked in the back door of the hotel and walked through it and came out the front door and I walked back in the front door and it triggered this scene. So, I think I just have to keep walking indoors and eventually I'll meet up with Donald and Goofy. I was thinking of doing a whole series about this game. But I don't know at this point. This music will drive me fucking insane. Yeah. The more I hear it. Here we go. I think I think I'm almost there. Oh boy. This is a lot. I got. I just got a PM from the lady who owns uh, Marcy, or uh, Freya, the dog who is here on UPF. She's asking me about community stuff. I heard a, heard a barking earlier. Freya will bark. Sad. Sad, really. We have two dogs ourselves, and they're both like little poodle mixes, and I swear to God, they, they bark a lot at that doorbell and people coming through the gate and shit like that. If you're laying on bed and you have a dog next to you that gets frightened and starts barking, it can pierce your eardrums. It is so loud. Oh, yeah. Gizmo shop. Is that where you want to be? So I, Goofy and Donald were like, oh, we're almost there or something. And so, uh, well, you followed me in here. I assumed that this was like the place to be, but I went in here and there was nothing in here and I left and there was nothing outside either. But I see like, maybe I can finish these guys off and something will happen. Do you enjoy playing this? I haven't played it long enough to make up my mind because like there will eventually be spells and stuff you can do to mm -hmm. make the combat a little more uh, diverse. You get part yeah. Are there party members at some point? Yeah, Goofy and, and Donald are supposed to uh, join up with me. Um, like real time, you control this dude and they, they're the ones just running around? I think so. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? It, this reminds me a little bit of Crisis Core. You ever played Crisis Core, the PSP game? No. Uh, the Final Fantasy Crisis Core? I got through half that game just hitting X over and over to attack stuff. It was all real-time combat too. And I got, eventually I just kind of like looked at myself and like, why am I playing this game? <laughs> There's no strategy involved. I'm sure it got more difficult later on, but uh, I played for maybe 10 hours and just hitting attack over and over again. It got me through pretty much everything. So, um, it got a little boring. I don't know what I can interact with ever is, is a, a minor problem with this game. So I went in there once and there weren't enemies. I went in there again and there are enemies. Is he like 12 or 27? How old is he? I think he's a boy. Okay. How did he get in this world of Disney? Uh, black magic. Ah. So now there's no enemies in here. Are you supposed to hit those switches? Like these little birds? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. okay. Maybe you have to unlock the whole room and make those things move before anything can happen. But everything looks kind of the same brightness. You'd think they'd point something like that out. I'm going to email support it giantbomb.com and say, how do I get out of this room? Yeah, you obviously made Kingdom Hearts. 
This is Square Enix, right? I googled Kingdom Hearts wiki and didn't click on the first three links. Yep. I got to your website. <clears throat> it's more the mobile games that nobody, a lot of mobile games will have like in-app purchases and shit where, hey, my kid spent 80 bucks on your game and I want to get the refund, please. And these fly-by-night mobile companies don't have really their own websites or anything like that. So we'll be really high up on the SEO. Um, or it's weird old shit too. Like we get people like, hey, my Microsoft Lynx disk from 1995 doesn't install on my new Windows. Can you guys help me out or send me a new download? And to very politely say, I don't really have any options to help you. Uh, I have monies now, so I'm gonna see if I can like buy anything good. Where are you supposed to go? You're supposed to go here, right? That's what the guide I saw said. Here to shop. He was in Final Fantasy X, right? Or uh, this is Sid. Sid from which one? I don't know. He just said his name is Sid. It might be eight. I'm not sure. I wish it told me what these items did. Probably not important. My throw shards. You don't need. Ooh, I got some money. Just lightning damage reduces all these side mm. areas defense. You want a PAX? Yeah. Yeah? I was thinking about it. I haven't been in a few years. Yeah, I went to the second one, whatever year that was, mm -hmm. uh, and had a blast. Saw the Giant Bomb podcast, saw like a bunch of other things. I'll call it auto equips. I have a, I, I signed up for a press pass, which is technically accurate, but uh, I've already started getting all the pest press spam. Mm. Like, if you ever sign up for a press pass to PAX, uh, you get in for free. You don't have to worry about getting a, a, a pass, but then you have the most spam. Oh, is this the boss fight? I think it might be. That's Squall. Is it? Yeah. I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. Pretty sure that's FF8 Squall. Let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. Yeah, he's 12. All right, then have it your way. Oh yeah, he's got the gun blade. Cool. He's got the big old scar. That cipher gave him. Cipher. cipher. Does that sounds right. I hardly know her. Oh. I tried restarting FF8 on Steam not too long ago. The game is not. Super ace well. Which one's eight? That's when you're drawing cards out of monsters to bump up your and like uh, you get like you have to draw draw stuff from monsters. I think I've ever seen that one. Is the Ice Queen, whatever her name is. Uh, I forget her name. Come on. I like the story a lot, but yeah, mechanic wise, it's no FF12. Say that much. Oh, ho, ho. Got him. I can lose. No. No, you're gonna... Again. <laughs> <laughs> One way to win a fight. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. Leon? Who's a Leon? Hey, it's... I know. Sefi. Yuna? Sefi? Yuna? Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. I am very engaged this in my voice some, recording. Yeah, it's some dialogue. Middle Arnold Arnold Palmer for myself. An Arnie Palmy. It's the first time I've ever enjoyed this beverage. I don't like iced tea at all. I used to not like tea at all until about a year and a half ago. Tea is great for a sore throat. Maybe lemon herbal tea. Lemon zest. Uh. Oh, That's like great. This is the boy who was on the island with me who accepted darkness into his heart. Uh, I think he's going to turn into Sephiroth. You ever watch Advent Children? The movie they made? Yeah. Yeah. A cool climax of that movie. Yeah. And I, remember, I don't remember anything else about it. I remember it. Loki, like blowing me away I know. how it looked yeah. at the time. They did not have the budget to record these lines.
Oh, it's the Malefic witch. Malef Maleficent? Melisandre? Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. You know, I've never been to Disneyland. I went about twice. Excuse me. Did the king say? I went uh, with some friends and I got food poisoning when we got to LA. Where did you. Sat in the hotel. Where did you live when you were, you were driving down from up driving here? Driving down from Santa Rosa, yeah, North Bay. Wake up. So you didn't actually go to Disneyland? Ugh. Nope, because I was just like throwing up. In the hotel room okay. while my friends were having fun. What did you eat? Italian food. Oh, I guess. Not like really kind of a hot bit of food poisoning. You don't, you don't hear that a lot. Undercooked but sauce or something? It must have been like some, the meat in the sauce or something. or something. Because you wield the keyblade. I'm the last time I got food poisoning was from alcohol. Oh, really? Yeah, I threw up a lot. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Yuffie. Hmm? Yuffie. Why do they switch their thing and well. they don't know who is who? Uh, there's some weird. He was just hallucinating. On. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out. I used to live in Irvine, which is near Disney World, and commuting past Disney World hard. is a shithole. But it won't work. They've been trying to widen the highway to uh, really the broadly the down there for like years, and it's just a nightmare. <laughs> Commuting anywhere in Southern California is... Yeah, PAX, well, pa or E3 is my like little glimpse into start making sense? LA traffic. What's going on here? You weren't even here last year. We had to commute like five miles okay. to get to the convention center you and that was, even that was a nightmare. Worlds out there besides your castle we could walk it this year, that's nice. Well, they're supposed to be a Can you do a Donald Duck? I feel like you could probably do a decent Donald Duck voice. Oh, I used to be able to do a really good one, but it's it would take a little practice. When the heartless came, everything changed. It's tough. It's yeah, tough. I'm yeah. not. I'm out of practice. On it's, my voice. It's projecting once you get that yeah. right voice is really. You got to get it down. You got to get down to the, the meat and the hearts. gristle of your throat. Hey everybody! Oh no! That's what oh no! No, that's, that's sweet, not good enough. Sweet sound. Not good enough. Music to my ears. <laughs> hey. Have you heard of someone named Ansem? I promise I'm paying attention I to this see story. He Everybody loves the uh, the fact that we just talk. He recorded on these all shows. of his that's findings. That's when I, that's when I get the feedback from people. Report. Yeah, yeah. Paying so much attention to the. Do people ever sure. email customer support? Be like, I don't like this video. His pages are scattered. I've gotten emails about <laughs> yes, specific <laughs> specific staff members, yeah. too. Gosh. <laughs> including me. <but> people. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. I've been doing internet video for 13 goddamn years. I've heard every mean thing there's a hear about me, so it's like I don't give a shit. And the thought of like, who do I think is gonna read this? I don't know. So uh, yes, for the most part, I encourage people to email. I'm not an editor; like, I barely email on content or anything like that. So I don't really have much say in terms of like what gets made and what doesn't. So I always play these. Like, hey, send a PM to uh, Jeff. I guess I suppose is the person who was ultimately. Is uh, kind of a sight around this, this kind of stuff. So tough. Luck. Jeff and Vinny will hear your oh, feedback on I remember being videos. I mean, we're not gonna, not everybody's gonna like everything. It's fine. No, yeah, that's fine. Wait a minute. As long as you can find something to enjoy on giantbomb.com. Giantbomb.com. Kyrie. And also you give us what? money every month. Yeah. I really don't know. Or once a year. Yeah. Because it's a lot like once a year or a little bit every month. What just happened? What were they talking about? Um, you were paying attention, right? Yeah, I gotta find Ansem. I have the Keyblade, which is the, the link between worlds. It opens the door. Um, I think you have to hit the hit the chest. Oh, it says... Huh? Elixir? I hardly know her. My problem with elixirs and all the healing That's items... Is bad in... mountain? Oh, bald mountain. My problem... Uh, is that I always wind up hoarding all my healing items till the very end of the game, and they never, they never wind up using them. You're trapped now. Oh, uh, it's the Onion Man. You <laughs> see? I like Donald. Let's go. I keep on getting uh, these weird spam from something called doyouremember.com and I think somebody signed me up for this and uh, 
They're all for really old people. 20 ways you knew you grew up in the 50s. If you were born in the 1950s, you'll certainly remember all of these wonderful click Can to read. A couple. Click to read more. I don't actually, I'm gonna go and click on it. Yeah, it's fine. They're gonna know I read these emails, but. Horse drawn milk carts from the 1950s, obviously. Oh, uh, who can forget? <laughs> who could forget the horse drawn milk carts? The Corona Lorry. It came what? around once a week, and your biggest decision was whether to choose root beer or cream soda. Oh man, Such the communal a time. The communal telephone. <laughs> <laughs> you had just the one, and it may have been a party line shared with a neighbor. The Rag and Bone Man. Wait, what? Who's the Bone Man? The, he'd also come around on a horse and cart. Ringing a bell so you know he was around and shouting out any old iron, any old iron. I guess that's how they did. That's made up. That's this is a click hole. Recycling in the fifties. The rented TV. The arrival of color television. Making a go kart. The cold. You remember being in the fifties and it got cold sometimes. Playtime. Old money. I'm gonna read all these now. I have to go. Number ten is stamps and coupons. Obviously, when, that after the fifties never. Oh yeah, no. You use stamps. I've paid full price for everything in my entire life. Cigarette sticks and coconut tobacco. Your dad's car. Some of these are very not fifties specific. No, they thought of like three good ones, and we're like, well, we got to <laughs> pat out this list. The Bone Man. Throw the Bone Man on there. <laughs> Eating out. You'd, you'd meet your mates in the local Wimpy bar for a cheeseburger, cola float, and a sticky rum baba. This is made up. What's this a rum is, baba? I, I have to look that up. I, should, I do have to look that up right now. Okay. Rum baba. I know for sure I have potions. A small yeast cake saturated in syrup made with hard liquor, usually rum, and sometimes whipped cream or pastry cream. So apparently that is real. All right. Why won't it let me use my potions, Rory? The last five are new supermarkets, your first job, proper music. You went to five and dimes, and the number one uh, thing you remember from the 1950s is. Number one. Is what? Cholera. Gosh, are these the heartless guys? Wait a minute. Did it skip over? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. What's the number one on our countdown? Well, we are leaving that up to you. What did we miss? What can you add? Put it in the comments below. Fuck that. Fuck that. That's really bullshit. I don't think I've ever seen a top 20 list like not have a number one. Yeah. Needless you, to say, you're not you going back it. to this website. The secret is yours. Ugh. Number one is the friends we made along the way. So never go to doyourremember.com. Obviously for old people. I have Goofy and, and Donald in my party now. Good. I'm gonna start paying attention now. Uh, but I can't. Heal yourself? Yeah. Luckily, I realized the little green orbs that drop out are healing. Oh, good. Dude, Goofy is tearing shit up. Can you switch between party members? Uh, not yet. Uh oh, boss fight. Uh oh. It's the Heartless Armor. Is that the big bad guy of the game? Uh, I don't think so. I do kind of like the look of, of a lot of the, the enemies. I was gonna say, can I just leave them to fight, but it looks like I, they do have health and stuff. Holy moly. Oh, Donald healed me. Hey, that's good. When does this first game first come out? This is like early PS2 era, right? Yeah. Excuse me. There's no boss health meter? Nope. Hmm. I gotta, I assume I'm doing it right. You're knocking the feet off.
Steal me, Donald. I think he's got problems of his own. Donnie! Don! Donnie! Donald! Donzo! Oh, you got knocked the F out. I love eating popcorn here. We have free popcorn, but it always gets stuck in my teeth. I just realized I haven't saved in a while. Did you save in the room with uh, Squall? Nope. Wasn't that a little green thing? That... Yeah, I... You didn't actually save? No. I hope it doesn't kick me back there if I die. I guess you're gonna find out. <laughs> Let's see, I think you gotta hit continue. It should have auto-saved before a boss fight, you'd think. Okay. Where are you? I'm there. Okay, this game's good. This game's fine. I can still play. I was about to like... How far back did you go? No, 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 this is, this is it. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm at the boss. Yeah, this okay. is good. Uh, I was about to lose my shit though. Mm, need some work. I'm really curious about this elixir. Potion situation. Why did you go belt on his hat? Uh, because he's goofy. Did you know that in the Disney universe? Uh, you ever think about you know how Pluto and yeah, and why does friends? Pluto walk his own dog? Because in the Disney universe there are funny animals, which is what they're called. Uh huh. And funny animals are animals that can walk and talk, like Donald Duck and Goofy mm -hmm. and Mickey Mouse. But they're also real animals. But there's also just animals. It's like when people get really weird into the Cars universe of Pixar's Cars. Like, why why are there airplanes? Like, why are there cars inside airplanes? And what happens when uh, we're at hospitals and all that kind of weird... People get weird in particular and they have to know everything about... I read a really stuff. long, like, theory with anecdotal evidence tying together the like history of like what happened between our universe now and the cars universe and why it is the way it is yeah uh and it was they murdered everybody apparently detailed. yep they think the cars murdered everybody that's kind of the crux of it yeah hey does the spin attack gonna do a smash Stomp his feet. I got this guy down. Oof. If I do die again, I'm gonna see if I can head back and like buy an elixir. It's weird there hasn't been like a Mickey Mouse movie in a while. Like some big CGI thing. I wonder if it has to do with them still Not trying right. to fight him into the public against yeah. the public domain thing. Oh, they always—they're never gonna lose that battle. They always wind up extending it for another 20 years just because of Disney has. Holy one. shit! Yeah, maybe go for the feet this time. I wish I had a dodge because my. Uh, my attack animations last a really long time and you can't like jump cancel out of them. Where'd the feet go? Oh, they reattached. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to do his bullshit. Ow. I thought when it flashed like that, that meant like I did enough damage and he was dizzied or something, but it just meant he was gonna do a big strong attack. You still can't use your potions? How do you use potions in Kingdom Hearts? Let me check here. Maybe I lost them? I, I'm gonna email support at giantbomb.com. Look, stock. Do you I put, have to transfer You put the out? potion in your command deck and use it, just use it like you would any of your other commands. And yes, you can, but only outside of battle? Try adding them to your... Yeah, I've put them in my... Yeah, so you have to have them in character-specific item slots. Okay. Is that going to help this time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Go see! Do 
you have like a, if you were to think of like a boss in a game that's giving you the most trouble, like you just couldn't wrap your head around it, beat it, or whatever, mm -hmm. do you have anything that comes to mind immediately? Uh, Deathwing in World of Warcraft is pretty tough to solo. Uh, still, even to this day. Has weird mechanic after run back and forth on his back. Um, in terms of games from like this kind of era, I never had too many problems with. Like I beat the end of FFX on my first try. FF12, same thing. Um, FF10 has a bunch of optional bosses in the monster arena that are really tough, which I've never gotten through. Um, but no, in terms of boss fights, I can't really remember anything off the top of my head that was really. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Alma was pretty tough. Um, I never played it. That's a good one. I'm gonna focus on the left foot. You can go back and find the wonderful series Boss of Bosses on GameSpot.com. Sorry. I forget what other bosses we did. I think we did the the we did Alma from Ninja Gaiden. Uh, let me see if I actually looked that up. And then I think we did the the sniper dude from MGS3. Oh, the end. The end. I want to say. I uh, I had a lot of trouble with a boss in Dead Space One. All right, here we go. That's the strat. Just gotta focus on him one leg at a time. Uh, it actually made me quit the game for like six months. I don't remember what the boss was named, but it was really big, and he was in like a floaty space station. And I quit for six months and came back to it and beat it on my second try after coming back. I'm not gonna watch this. I have no idea what the other two bosses were in that series, but you can go take a look at yourself. Good old lispy Rory before I had speech therapy. You did it. Oh, no, they gave me shit. You what? They gave me like a potion. There you go. What were you saying? Sorry, I was totally ignoring you. Uh, Dead Space 1 had a yeah. boss that gave me a lot of trouble, but and I quit for six months and came back and beat it on the second try. Sometimes that happens. Oh, I was like that with Father, Father Gascoigne in uh, Bloodborne. One of the first or second boss in that. This dude in a graveyard. I tried. I remember that dude. Yeah, that dude. Fuck that dude. 20 or 30 times, I think. And as soon as my girlfriend like leaves the room, I get him on the second try after that. <laughs> but I was super frustrated. Like, whoa. Throwing a... It was uh, hard. It was really hard. Because he had like a second form, right? That's yes. The werewolf form. Yeah. I think he had three forms. A lot of them do. Yeah, if we're talking Bloodborne Dark Souls stuff, I... I soloed Smo and Ornstein at some point, uh, I think while I was streaming, but that was that was a fight that is uh, well renowned for being super difficult. And of course, there are people who can do it without getting hit at all and bullshit like that. Um, yeah, Smo and Ornstein, and uh, I had a really hard time with the gargoyles in Dark Souls uh, the first few times to try to do it. I never got that far. The only Souls game I, I beat uh, was Demons. Did you find a string cheese in the fridge? Because I noticed that I bought yeah, a pack of string cheese. Yeah, mine. I brought in the little fridge. Okay, mine or the big fridge. Okay. I noticed some of mine are kind of disappearing. Yeah, it's I amazing. brought a little string of them in the little fridge. I wish I'd shave today. I didn't know it was going to be on camera today. So you were looking for when me? When I feel like it, kind of, yeah. They too have been seeking the. I trim it. I use a beard trimmer. Yeah, you, I, don't really I mean, you look good with stubble. Like I, you know, it looks weird on camera. That's all I say. We can go to other worlds. It looks great in real life. I have a baby face. I wonder if I. Can I was on the ferry over here from Oakland one time, and if you haven't been, on, have you been on the ferry like Interbay ferry? Sure? Uh, I've gotten on the one from Marin to the city. Okay, so same thing. They they have a little bar that sells alcohol and shit. Um, this lady, I was in line with a couple of friends, and she Zora, turns to me and she says, like, "I need to see your ID, sir." Especially if you want. And I give her my ID. I'm 37, and she <laughs> looks at the ID and like, "You wouldn't believe how young this guy, or old this guy is, everybody. He looks like he's so young." I don't know. And you're like, you're, "I'm 37." Yeah, I'm just like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> I had that happen on a double date one time with a friend of mine and my, my current yeah, girlfriend. You gotta look and this waitress comes over, and we're all like mid 30s, late 30s. She comes over and asks me for my ID, and nobody else at the table. And the other, not my girlfriend, but the other, the other woman on the, the double date was pretty mad about it. <laughs> like, if you're, if you're gonna ask one person for ID, well, you should probably ask everybody for ID. Uh, <laughs> What's happening? You were paying attention, right? 
Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. I am touching you. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. That's my hero academia. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you what would help with not getting carded. It's being very tall. Little really? Down. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Even though I had like a tall baby face. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And like, theoretically, you know, even being very young. Still. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cat a hook. Swuggle the eyes. They're all built tracks by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Is that the guy from uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas? Enough. Yeah. And was that a Disney movie? Little Mermaid's mom. Or whatever. Not Will it mom. be he who conquers the darkness, or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. I am somebody who's never had a super affinity for Disney. Might have been the thing that kind of made me not super interested in this game when it came out. I like Final Fantasy. I like these Final Fantasies. Um, but I think I did try to play this and kind of got... I was too old to be nostalgic for, for this kind of stuff. I know people who really, really care about Kingdom Hearts a lot and really like it a lot, but I think I just kind of missed the boat. Kind of like Pokemon. Like everybody who likes Pokemon a huge amount are definitely younger than I am which is a broad, sweeping generalization that is probably incorrect in a lot of cases, but I didn't get into Pokemon because I didn't play it when it came out, and uh, by the time I tried to go back to a Pokemon game, it felt really just simplistic. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to get some fuck. fun responses to this when I say this. <laughs> to saying Pokemon. that you don't like Disney or Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's not like those pe people hold those games up as like <laughs> sacred cows or anything. I got a roll. And I, that makes me sound really, uh, you know, Jaded, probably, and and old. Both true. <laughs> I can't deny it. So I got a fire spell. Oh. Oh, oh it costs. Costs magic to roll. Wait, is that your dodge thing rolling? Okay, hold on. Abilities. Sora. So I've equipped these abilities. Mm. Now how do I... I see. Oh, okay, it doesn't cost mana. You just have like a limit of how many things you can equip. You mean mana? Sorry? Oh, I got a lot of shit for that one. Again, it's one of those debates that doesn't mean shit about shit. But, but I am definitely in the vast minority. Oh, finally. Here we go. I say aunt instead of aunt. A lot of people say aunt. I always say aunt. My aunt. I think that's a southern thing more than a uh, thing, but definitely people feel it snooty. Why are Donald Goofy just wilding out, jumping around this fucking dude's shop? Goofy, get down. We get a lot of these, too, for Comic Fine. Hey, hope you are well. I just wanted to get in touch to share blah blah blah's latest infographic, The Evolution of Superhero Hero Vehicles. I hope that might make an interesting online snippet. The infographic has been attached below. Do let me know if you want me to send across a press release. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> a lot of that stuff is really begging for like, I think this would be a good article on your on your yeah. website, buddy. I, I've been there, you know, you want to sure. you just mass email out yeah. and hope anyone bites. Um, it just feels very disconnected to what we do at these sites. Yeah, um, they, it's, we're probably like, they probably pulled it from a list somewhere of like media sites, right? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely on a few. Um, oh, and this dude, holy shit, Ethan Campbell. Sir, Ethan Lance. it's the end of the month and I'm still trying to hit my domain name sales target, which is why I can make you a special deal if you buy GamingGiant.com today. Ooh, how much? Uh, what's your best realistic offer for the domain name? Let's do this. Best regard. I got, <laughs> I got about 
$33 in my bank account. I think we can make this work. I'm still trying to pay off that monitor. So yeah, I got a new monitor? Uh, for your computer? For my computer, yeah. I... I've heard about the gummy ship and we're about to see it for the first time. Let me look up what Green he wants for goddamngaminggiant.com. Select your next destination with the cursor. Oh, Chip and Dale! Observe the battle level and select the destination. More stars means more heartless. Hmm. I went to Domain Trade World, which is where the spam all comes from, and the, I cannot search for anything. So. Oh, no. Oh, no. This stock is going to go up fourfold by the end of the week. What? What? Hey, I played this on the Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Too bad. This is how I get from world to world, so I can see it maybe getting a little annoying later, but I, I like this. You know what really annoyed me? The Jade Empire top-down 2D shooter thing that happened like every once in a while in Jade Empire. Never played it. Never played Jade Empire? Not my favorite Bioware game. What is your favorite Bioware game? God, I don't know. That's a big question. I would say KOTOR 2, but that's a Obsidian game. Uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Baldur's Gate 2 is a fantastic RPG. Good old David Warner playing the bad guy. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 2. How about that? I never... I, I didn't have, like, a working PC until 2007. Those weren't super... Uh... I mean, it's 2D sprite stuff, so it wasn't super, super uh, difficult to get to run, but it was a time commitment for sure. I also like the first uh, first uh, Dragon's Age. Dragon, Dragon, oh, yeah. Dragon Age? Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Dragon Age 2 was as bad as everybody says. I liked Inquisition. I think I reviewed Inquisition for the site. I know a lot of people did not, but... What about Origins? Origins was the first one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was a great game. Like 80 hours of content. Running through all that, I like that a lot. How about you? What's your favorite Bioware game? And why is it Baldur's Gate 2? Uh, I like Kotor, but like you said, that was a. Uh, well, Kotor 1 was. Uh, oh, was, was it? Bioware. Kotor 2 I was. Kotor 1. Kotor 2 was better. Baldur's Gate 2, the expansion pack that uh, Obsidian did, uh, Throne of Ball, was actually really good too. I think it was Throne of Ball. Or was that the Diablo 2 expansion pack? I think that was. Remember this? Sure. Remember the rabbit was late? Throwing a ball. It was a throwing a ball. What was the Diablo 2 expansion called then? I wonder if I have to drink a potion and get little. Lord of Destruction was the Diablo 2 expansion. Goofy's like a little in my face <laughs> right now. <laughs> Small. Uh, no, you're simply too big. Heard that. That's an unpleasant sound. I'm gonna do it a lot. Must you be so loud? You woke me up. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. I'm gonna try and find a save point. Do do to Go for it. Why don't you try the bottle? Oh, that's, yeah. that's what I do. Every night. And you tell you the truth every day. <laughs> Called it. 
Ooh, we're in Little Land. Hello, I am a huge movie fan and I like your site. Also, I am a writer and I have an idea for some articles. One, about the best DC animated films. Two, weirdest comic book heroes. So if, if you interested in some unique content, just let me know. Weirdest, his number one weirdest comic book hero, Iron Man. That guy's weird. <laughs> And the, the 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 subject line is quest post for comic line. I remember when I had to write quests for John. I did some quests for screen.com. That, that was, was a lot of work. You it know, was a lot of work, but I enjoyed it. Shit little work. People always ask us to bring my quest. I don't I don't Oh no! Oh, oh. okay. Quest would be a lot of work. Oh you mother trucker. What? Oh, uh oh. All right, over here now. I just want to save. Please let me out of this hell. I'm so little. It's just like a texture of a pot. <laughs> That's really weird. You went to you entered Flatlands. Oh, get him, Donald. Let's do some magic. Oh, fuck yeah. I forgot I had magic, and I have this roll now. This is gonna make the combat a lot better. How do you get out of this room? Uh, I thought I could just go in the door. Why is it letting me lock on? You have this? to you have to drink one of these, don't you? I I did to get small. You go through the door. You can hit it. You should have a context thing, right? See? Don't forget, you can use your keyblade to open up any key. He's still sleeping. Hit him. Attack him. No, let me. What if I hit him with fucking fireball? Yeah, and look, there's another know. texture on the ground. Uh, maybe there's another way out. Look, where does this go? Oh, nowhere. There's gotta be something. That's something a spawn here. Spawn cave. This is really weird. What's the worst RPG you put like a, a lot of time into? Hmm. Like you didn't immediately turn it off, but at I will say I did not uh, like uh, Dragon Age 2 at all. I think that game was pretty bad on the whole, and I did beat it. Uh, I didn't enjoy any of it, though. The magic sword, blood, it had like a blood sword that was turning people evil and shit like that. Like, how stereotypical can you get? Uh, I didn't like Final Fantasy IX very much. I did not, I got to the fourth disc on that on my PS2, and then it, my save got corrupted. You have to do something with the store. I can't talk to him anymore. I think while there's enemies in the room. I think he just wants me to beat a bunch of enemies and then he'll wake up. Maybe you should look up something in your walkthrough. You want me to do it? Here, let me do My it. My computer died. It's fine. Look up Wonderland walkthrough. How do you open the door in Wonderland Kingdom Hearts? You have to push. Push the bed to reveal the opening. You need to be big to do so. How do I get big? You have to drink the other potion. That's so obvious. How did you not know that? Uh. Push. Sure. Now you have to be small. I'm assuming. Move yep. on. Yep. 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 You got it, buddy. You did it. Please have a safe point. Thank you in advance. Let's turn away. Those card guys never scared me. Because I'm like, they're just made out of cards. You can rip them in half. I don't actually remember watching Alice in Wonderland as a kid. I'm on 
trial? But why? I fell asleep during the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland movie in theaters. Slept through most I of it. I didn't. I, that was. If that movie, that movie made a literally a billion dollars, and I'm convinced that if it didn't, we wouldn't have sat through like ten years of 3D movies because Avatar obviously made a huge amount of money as a 3D movie, but I think it was really the the shitty Alice in Wonderland that making a billion dollars that convinced everybody to make 3D movies for or at least convert into 3D, which I can't stand. I have glasses, so it's really tough for me to watch 3D movies. Samin, silence. So Samin. Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. Did they have like a prime directive the or something they can't? The yeah, it's... Guilty as charged. Mickey's For the crime prime directive, and if they violate it, the chip that's implanted in their neck will explode. <gasps> Why would they just get out of the way? <laughs> Dare you interfere with my court? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and run Excuse at the queen. Me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh huh. It's the heart. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. Weird point for it to go back to no dialogue. Yeah. This Safe point. point. Well, Matt then, Rory, thank you for. S I don't really think this game is very good, to be honest with you. Careful. I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please. You just fucked up, dude. Oh <laughs> boy, that's the end of you. Oh my God. Am I some mean comments about You're it? You're gonna die. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm gonna find your head at, uh, next to my bed in the morning. Uh, maybe it was of its time. Uh, maybe that's uh, the thing I should have said. Uh, I yeah. I'm I'm interested now. Now that I can roll and I have spells and stuff, I, I feel like the combat's gonna be a little more engaging. Uh, I have money. You have 810 monies. I have 810 monies. I'm rich. Thanks for joining me. I will join you again at some point. Yeah, yeah. Future, I can't wait to get you back in. Uh, I don't know. I, I tried to get Jeff again, but he pulled Brad into a meeting when I was walking over. They said something about quarterly something. Quarterly layoffs. <laughs> I've got some bad news. <laughs> Um, Thank you for I am in here a lot doing everyone. I'm in here a lot doing support emails. If you ever see me doing support emails, feel free yeah, to Yeah, I'll get you in on get me in. Maybe next week. Alright. We'll see.